Bukhara is more than 2,500 years old. In the Silk Road days, long caravans came here from all over the known world. The legends of the magical oasis hidden between two deserts spreading from India to China. And nowadays, Bukhara can still win the heart of the most seasoned traveler. Bukhara is a city of wonders and its merchants are enchanting. They welcome guests in exactly the same place that their forefathers did under the ancient trading domes and in the surrounding streets. They've inherited the gift of an outstanding capacity for foreign languages. You can still sense Bukhara's atmosphere and the colors when this ancient city was a big trading center of the Silk Road. Even today, under those domes, they still sell what was brought here hundreds of years ago. The Kalya Minaret is one of Bukhara's most iconic symbols. For a long time, it was the highest in Central Asia. It was also a lighthouse, and at night, torches would burn, lighting the way for caravans approaching the town. Bukhara's historic centre is on UNESCO's World Heritage List. One highlight is the mausoleum of the Simonid dynasty, built in the 10th century. It changes colour with the weather. Experts say the secret is in the special brickwork. The architect who created this mausoleum had 18 ways of laying the bricks. If you take a close look, you'll see each surface has 10 windows. Every window has its own decoration, so the ones on the front are different. The great polymath Avicen was born in a village close to Bukhara. The author of the Canon of Medicine often came to the Emir's residence, the Ark Fortress, which has been destroyed and rebuilt repeatedly throughout history. When Avicen was 17, he healed an emir who was thought to be dying. Instead of gold, he asked for permanent access to the fortress's library and its treasures. According to legend, Avicen created some of the best local recipes, and that's another enticing aspect of local hospitality. In the Silk Road times, more than 60 caravan hotels existed in Bukhara, each catering for different languages. A guest is like our father, like it was in ancient times and will always be. We receive guests as we would our own father. Guests who come to Bukhara from all over the world can feel the rhythms of the past. Centuries ago, foreign dancers would come here with the caravans to perform. Some dresses are a work of art, dating back to the 2nd century BC. Bakshilo Jumiev is from a dynasty of master embroiderers. His threads consist of silk and real gold. It can take up to six months to make the traditional gown. The creativity comes from the past, present and the future of Bukhara. Before I was inspired by my children. Now I am inspired by my grandchildren. And the city inspires me a lot. This is the mausoleum of the famous Sufi Nakhshband, who was an artisan himself and said the hand should be filled with work and the heart with God. Today, Bukhara artisans repeat this phrase and consider Nakhshbandi as their patron. Mutu Shokyar Kamalav is a seventh generation blacksmith. He knows all the secrets of forging the reputedly everlasting Bukhara knives, a knowledge he got from his father and passed on to his son. There is music in the work of a blacksmith. It's the music of a heartbeat. It's not only the secrets of ancient crafts that have been passed on through the generations, but also the secret of cooking one dish. In our next story, we'll show you how to cook the famous Uzbek plov.